I'll be showing you how you can add image swatches to your Shopify store Dawn theme for completely free. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. So the way we're going to do this is using a free Shopify app. It's called Glow Color. And it is completely free here and it does have really good reviews. So let's go and set this up step by step. So I'll click install. I'll also leave a link for this in the description below. You can also find it on the Shopify app store. But once you hit install, if you're comfortable with the permissions, you can hit install app in the top right. And this will bring us to the welcome screen of the app where we can set up our image swatches for our Shopify Dawn theme. So from the beginning page, let's go to get started or let's start here. It should be a green button. It's gonna be inserting my data. It's going to automatically sync this information from my Shopify store. So I can see different options for sizing, power, color, plug type, and style. This is going to be based on some of these Shopify products already uploaded. But for the display style, you can either set it as a button. I can also set it as a color or custom image swatch or an automated variant image swatch. I'm going to select automated variant image just for each of these so we can see how it looks. I'm not sure if it's going to look fully correct, but I'll hit next step here. I now get a chance to customize the settings. So I can set the swatch type for the button, the drop down, and the swatch itself. I'm going to leave it as circle here. I like the looks of that. You can set the sizing, so I maybe want to make it on a larger scale. I can set the spacing in between them, so it could be larger, it could be smaller. I'll leave it as 10 as the default. For the border style, you can get double, single, or none. I'll leave it as single here. You also get customization on the border color, the hover effects. Maybe I want to add a glow when I'm hovering over these. I can also add a zoom when hovering over these. I'm going to leave it as no zoom. And the size change on hover. We get quite a few different effects here. I'm just gonna leave it as increased size to make it easy for the customer to know what they're hovering over. This is probably gonna be more applicable on desktop as well. For content aligning, I'm gonna leave it as center and I'll have the carousel disabled. And that's for the collections. You also get a chance to do this on the product level. So I'm gonna mimic some of these settings, setting it as large and adding an increased size zoom and glow for each of them. So I'll give you a chance to customize your settings, but once you're done here, you just wanna click next step at the top this will bring us to our general settings. We get some customization over what happens if there's a sold out item. We can hide it for the image swatch, which is what I do. I think that's more applicable, or we can add it to a strikeout, which is also clear that it's not in stock. And you get customization on the image settings, so what you want the width and height to be. I'd probably say you should match these as the same. It's gonna create a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. You can have the tooltip, as well as customization on the different types of text. You can also set where you wanna show it. So the product page here, have it set for only one variant. You can also set to show it on the collection page as well. So once you customize these settings, again, the next step here, there are quite a few settings here, but it can take a little bit of time to read through them, but let's go enable it. So this was the final step and I did actually run into an error here. So I had to go back to the app and open up the theme integration section. It's the same layout. And what you wanna be doing is make sure you're selecting the live theme. It should be in brackets here. I made the mistake of selecting the first one that actually led to an error. But if you go to the Dawn theme, this is my live theme again, and let's go enable this. It's gonna ask you to go to the theme editor. So you open that up. It should automatically open up the app embed section. This will be on the left-hand side. And I can see Globo Color Swatch. And what you wanna do is hit save in the top right there. And this will enable the app on your store. So this was the final step here in the setup sequence. So let's go and actually test if this is working. I'll go back to my Shopify dashboard. I'll hit preview or view your online store with the eye symbol next to online store in the left-hand side menu. And so let's go and view this on the collection page and the product page. So I'll just scroll down to the overall collections here. I'll click on all. If I scroll down, I can now see these image color swatches have appeared for the different styles. You can see there's probably a little bit of an error here as I selected images for each of power, color, and plug type, but that's okay. I can go and edit that later. Let's go and check out the framed canvas as it looks better. And I can now see the image swatches are available. And overall, I think that looks way nicer and they were super easy to set up. I quite like the effects that I set up too when you hover it over. It's gonna zoom in a little bit and make sure you know exactly which one you're selecting. Before I go, I wanna say that if you ever struggle to find out how much money your store is making in real time, or in any date range, you should check out our sponsor, Profit Calc. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is like the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations and a ton of different details and analytics. These are all going to let you make smarter business decisions as you'll have a true understanding of your store's financial performance. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. You can find it in in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. 
There's also a link in the description below. From there, you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. So this is gonna conclude the video on how to add image swatches to your Shopify Dawn theme. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.